Hey everybody, Jem Schofield here and welcome to the Canon R5C4 video production training series. In this video, we're on location and I'm being joined by cinematographer James Kwan. We're gonna be talking about image stabilization and autofocus features, so let's go. All right, so here we are, and I'd like to start by introducing you to James Kwan. Hello. James is a cinematographer based out of Los Angeles and Albuquerque, and he primarily works on features. Yes. And commercials. Correct. And then he also has, over the years, worked with me a lot on creating this educational content for Canon. We have. We've done a lot. We have done a lot. And this is the first time I've been able to convince James to be on this side of the camera. Trying my best. So in this particular video, we're going to be talking about some of the image stabilization features and also autofocus features on the R5C. Yeah. And we've gotten some pretty cool stuff with those features. Yeah, it's, it's been great. So let's get to it. So it's not a commercial. No. It's not a feature film. No. We've been working on a promo with a small crew. That's right. And that's pretty typical in the corporate world when it comes to video production. So how did you use the AF system for the work that we were doing this week? Well, in a lot of scenarios, I could use a continuous autofocus to rely on a, you know, the focus point on the image. So in the camera, it gives you uh, three options, a uh, small focus area, large, and whole area. And uh, depending on my shooting situation, I could choose uh, the best one that was appropriate. So certain times, like if I was in a wide shot, say I was shooting um, Evan uh, throwing the javelin, and he was like smaller in the image, I would choose small, and then um, you know I could just touch on the LCD and know that the focus system was going to latch onto him and keep him in focus. Speaking of that, I have noticed that on this camera that the touch controls and touch focus capabilities are extremely responsive. Correct. Uh, I didn't feel any lag. If I touched it, it instantly responded to uh, where I wanted the focus. Can you give me an example of using large area with the AF system? Sure. When uh, Sam, the basketball player, was uh, running up the camera and doing drills, uh, choosing a large area was most appropriate, so uh, I didn't miss him if uh, he was darting left to right in frame. Talk to me a little bit about object tracking and what that is, and were there times where you used that as well? Sure. I used uh, object tracking a lot. Uh, whenever I used uh, object tracking, I would choose whole area. Um, I used it uh, with uh, Christy at the blocks. Uh, I wanted to focus on her shoes or sometimes her hands, and uh, it worked great. There's also a menu option that says selectable or center frame. Did you ever use center frame? I did. Uh, when the drone was in the air uh, with the camera, no one could uh, touch the screen and choose where the focus was going to be. So uh, we just used uh, center frame, and I told the drone pilot to uh, keep the subject uh, center of frame, and uh, the camera worked great. Let's talk a little bit about face detection. Sure. Give me one example where it was really advantageous beyond some of the stuff that you were just talking about with some of the continuous AF. Sure. Uh, well, during the interview setups with uh, the athletes, uh, sometimes I was shooting at 1.2 or 1.4, and uh, the autofocus, I could really rely on that uh, to uh, keep track of them. Even minute movements, uh, the tracking was always working. Yeah, I was really surprised because usually when I'm relying upon an AF system, when I'm shooting interviews, I'm hesitant to use it beyond about a 2.8, an F2.8. And when I saw you do the setup with SOM, that two camera setup, and you were at a 1.2, I was pretty shocked at how the system was working. Yeah, me too. Uh, it's great to just have the camera always 
checking focus and making sure it's tack sharp. And even when I was on like the Segway, going around them or uh, leading them or following them, I could rely on that continuous autofocus to track them. Yeah, and there's also lots of different options inside of that menu. And I saw that you were switching between face only, face priority. You were sometimes changing it to that one parameter, which is face head. So if they started to turn, yes. you would actually still stay on focus on that person. Yeah. So it definitely seemed like you were using it a lot. In the yeah, production. I was. When I was orbiting um, Evan around the Segway, uh, you know, it wasn't always going to latch on to his face. So uh, in that case, uh, face and head uh, was great to use. So I also noticed with face detection that you oftentimes turned eye detection on. And at least for me, I know for you and most people in production, having critical focus on the eye is really important. Yeah, very. So was that something you used often along with face detection? Uh, yeah, I, I used eye detection uh, anytime I knew the subject was going to be pointed at the camera. And I will just say as an aside, because we're on a three camera here, that these cameras are set up with face detection and the eye detection feature as well. Correct. Uh, yeah, the operators are relying on that for focus. So let's move into talking a little bit about how you're using the IS or image stabilization features in the camera. Is that cool? Yeah, sure. I noticed that you did different combinations. You're on the Ronin sometimes, sometimes you were on sticks, yep. but there were times where you were handheld. Yeah, during a shoot, sometimes you don't have time to uh, always uh, move with a tripod. So a lot of times if I wanted a tripod shot, but I didn't have a tripod on me, I would turn on the uh, digital IS. Um, that created a great tripod looking shots, even though I was handheld the entire time. Did you use IS in any other ways? Sure, when I was on the Segway, uh, on the gimbal, uh, sideways, um, I also turned on IS in lens. Uh, that way, if there's any little bumps or shakes, uh, the, that lens stabilization was gonna take it out, and uh, it worked great. Cool, thanks for having this conversation. Thank you. So there you have it. Those are some of the autofocus and image stabilization features of the R5C. If you haven't checked out the other videos in this series, please do so. As always, the goal here is education. So thanks for watching.